Hi boys and girls, today's new story is I Want a New Room. And this is another book about Alex, our character who actually used persuasive language to persuade his mom into giving him an iguana, if you remember book one. Anyway, this is it. I love it. I'm excited. This book is written by Karen Kaufman Orloff and illustrated by David Cattrall. And just take a look at the way that he looks and look at what's going on up here. And the title, I Want a New Room, tells us a lot about this picture. Look at the kids up here. They're making a lot of noise and he's got a finger, possibly two fingers in his ear. Let's check it out. Oh my goodness, boys and girls, look. These are blueprints. Hmm, it says Olympic trampoline, shark tank. I think there's a bowling alley over here. Let's see. And an observatory and a flight simulator. Hmm, let's check it out. I want a new room. Boy, look at all that. Let's start. Dear Mom, I know you think I should share a room with Ethan now that we have baby Annie, but here's why I shouldn't. When Ethan sleeps, he sounds like a cat coughing up fur balls. Why can't you move Annie in with you and give me my room back? Signed, your very tired son, Alex. Dear Alex, go bother your father. Signed, your very, very tired mother. Whoa, look at that. It's got crayons up its nose. Let's see. Dear Dad, you have no idea what it's like to share a room with Ethan. He sticks crayons up his nose and barks like a walrus. He snores like Grandpa Ralph. So how about giving me my old room back? Please don't say, go bother your mother. Been there, done that. Love, fed up Alex. Look at baby Annie. Let's see. Dear Alex, sorry we had to move you out of your room, but Annie's a girl and mom says girls need privacy to do girl stuff. I'm not sure what that is, but I'm guessing it has to do with hair and makeup. Love, Dad. She is a baby. <laughs> Dear Dad, Annie is a baby. She doesn't have any hair. And if she wore makeup, she would drool on it. By the way, did I mention Ethan broke my skateboard and lost my brand new Captain Creepy action figure? The kid is out of control, Dad. Love, your seriously upset child, Alex. Dear Alex, you know four-year-olds are a little careless. You are just like him at that age. Remember when you fell into the cake at Grandma's 60th birthday party? Good thing the candles weren't lit. Why don't you have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with Ethan about respecting your property? Love, Dad. Dear Dad, thanks for the advice. Now I know exactly how to handle this. Love, your diplomatic son, Alex. P.S. Diplomatic was one of my vocabulary words. Look, he's got tape. Uh-oh. Oh, look at what he did to Ethan's bed. 
This says, Dear Ethan, this is your side of the room. This is my side of the room. Stay on your side. Alex, P.S. Don't touch my stuff or else. Dear Alex, do you realize you gave Ethan the side of the room that doesn't have a door? I just found him jumping up and down on his bed, yelling that he can't come out to take his bath because Alex said so. Fix this problem when you get home from soccer practice or else. Love, Dad. Boy, Ethan's jumping high, huh? Oopsie. Dear Dad, okay, I told Trampoline Boy he can use the door now. Honestly, Dad, you see what I'm dealing with here? Please give me my room back. I promise I'll keep it really, really clean. Love, neat and tidy, Alex. Dear Alex, does that include cleaning the iguana's cage? I've noticed an unusual smell coming from that general direction. Just thought I'd mention it. Love, your concerned father. Fly Pori. Potpourri usually smells pretty, but fly Pori, I don't know. I don't know about that. Let's keep going. Dear Dad, Let's not change the subject. Here's the thing. I'm practically grown up. I want a new room. Plus, I think I should get rewarded for all the A's I got in school. Love, Alex, the super student. Dear Alex, nice try, but if I remember correctly, you got three B's and one A. And I think the A was in lunch. Love, Dad. Oh, that's lurch and stinky, I guess. Let's see. Dear Dad, even Stinky's dog Lurch has his own room. That dog is treated like a king. He's got six pillows and his own TV. He and Stinky watch cartoons and eat cheesy popcorn every single night. I'm not even asking for a TV. Just one little room. Love, your human son, Alex. P.S. Stinky got a D in lunch. Oh, look at that. Look at all babies making all kinds of noise. There's poor Alex. Dear Alex, no can do. Love, Dad. P.S. Stinky scares me. Dear Dad, it's more than the room. It's the principle of the thing. Why do I, the oldest and most important kid, had to suffer just because you and mom had another baby. Does that seem fair? I don't think so. Love, your number one son, Alex. Dear Alex, yes, you are very important to us, but so are your brother and sister. However, you make some good points. A boy your age needs his own space. Maybe we could build you a special place of your own. Love, Dad. Dear Dad, now you're talking. We could add a whole new wing onto the house. I can have my own bathroom with a hot tub, skateboard ramp, and bowling alley. What do you say, Dad? Here's a floor plan. Love, Alex the Architect.
Oh, now look at this. Those are the blueprints. He called it a floor plan. But look, it's got the observatory, shark tank, the bowling alley. Oh boy. Boys and girls, does that seem reasonable? Hmm, I don't think so. It's a neat idea though. Dear Alex, slow down there, buddy. We're not gazillionaires. We can build you a condo. I was thinking of something like a tree house. We can build it together. You won't have to share it with your brother unless you absolutely want to. Love, Dad. You mean it, Dad? I do, Alex. He's reading Night of the Iguana. Funny. That is cool. He's finally happy. Oh boy. Ping pong. But he didn't have anybody to hit it back, huh? Oh, look at his face. Well, how do you think he feels, boys and girls? Oh, back in Ethan's side of the room. Dear Ethan, do you want to play with me in my treehouse? Love, your big brother, Alex. Captain Creepy. Yes! Thanks, Alex. So, boys and girls, with the use of persuasion in writing, he was finally able to talk his dad into a bargain. Now, a dad couldn't build him his own room, but he did say that they could build a tree house. What I liked, I liked how when he thought about Stinky and his dog Lurch, the illustrator definitely showed that they had cheesy popcorn and they showed that Lurch was definitely being treated like a king. He had his pillows, his feet up, his own recliner. That was pretty funny. I also liked the part where in this section the dad finally agreed. He said, however, you make some good points. It's at this point where dad starts changing his mind. And even though Alex didn't get the room that he wanted, he did get his own privacy. But once he got that privacy, it turns out he became lonely. And he eventually invited Ethan up. And then he was happy. So boys and girls, if you can think of a connection, was there ever a time where you ever wanted to be alone from all the noise and other people or just because you felt like being alone? Why don't you make that connection? Think about it. If you want to journal it, you're more than welcome to. And if you just want to think about it, that's fine too. If you journal it, send me a pic. If you are in another class, then send that to your teacher. All right, have a great day. Bye.